Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. A gunshot detection system could be on its way to Mobile as long as it passes one final hurdle. The City Council will get its first look today at the $640,000 three-year contract with ShotSpotter. The company says that its tech can pinpoint shootings within 82 feet and then notify police of a reported gunshot within a minute and that's exactly 90% of the time. Well, Bill Public Safety Director Lawrence Batiste says that the system would be implemented with Alabama Power, who will add cameras and better lighting. I don't believe, and, and other members of, of my team don't believe, that it would be an effective tool by itself. But the ability to integrate it with all the other things that we have in place, uh, I believe will make it an effective tool here in the city of Mobile. Director Batiste says that he expects violent crime to actually drop in the long run with the gunshot detection technology. If the contract is approved in the next few weeks, the city hopes that it could have the system up and running by about June or July. The money for this is coming from funding from the American Rescue Plan. That technology could help police solve homicide investigations like the one which happened on Johnston Avenue just days ago. At least three people were shot on Friday night. One of them died. Police have identified the victim as 26-year-old Twain Lucas. Then, less than 24 hours later, police responding to yet another report of shots fired. Now, fortunately, this time, no one was injured. If you have information about either incident, you're asked to call the Mobile Police Department right away. The wife of a man stabbed to death by who Mobile Police say is his stepson is speaking out this morning. Vanessa Brown says that she's still trying to make sense of it all. She says her husband Omar was changing a bag in the trash can on Sunday when her son, 36-year-old Freddie Maxwell, stabbed Omar with her grandchildren in the house. Police arrested Maxwell at the scene. He is charged with murder and domestic violence. Brown says that she and Omar were married for two years. She says that Omar and Freddie never fought, and this crime has taken her by total surprise. Would you ever be able to forgive your son? No. I'm not going to never forgive him. Forgive him. No. Nope. My heart, half of my heart is gone. I have no feeling. I, I, I'm confused. I can't sleep. I, I'll never forgive him. That's not my son. I don't know who that is. It's like he a demon. That's not my son. And I'm not going to stand by him. Brown says that there is a link to donate to the family for funeral costs. We do have that link inside the story for you on our website at fox10tv.com. Our meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report and it is very wet this morning. All of the rain predominantly light. No thunderstorms or severe weather threats, but we're going to see this west to east movement of rain throughout your entire morning commute. So go ahead and plan for that. Have the rain gear ready to go and make sure you and the kids are bundled up because this is in the form of cold rain that's going to be lasting pretty much through the day. Now most of it is only going to get us in the morning. We're expecting the rain coverage to back off a bit this afternoon, but we we won't go totally dry until tonight. Once we move toward tonight, we'll start to see the rain completely exit our section of the Gulf Coast and the sky will slowly clear, setting the stage for much better weather on Wednesday. So this morning, the weather going to be very wet. As we head in toward this afternoon, we start to dry out. Temperatures will be in the 50s. And as far as looking ahead, we're looking at more chilly mornings over the next several days. On the Fox 10 future cast, you can see the big mass of rain moving from west to east. You can also see it basically sticking around at midday and as we progress in toward the afternoon, but by six, seven, eight o'clock, the rain completely exits our section of the Gulf Coast and then overnight tonight and into your Wednesday morning, the sky will gradually begin to clear and we'll start to see that sunshine reemerging tomorrow. Here's how the next seven days are going to stack up. We're looking at mid to low 50s for highs today and tomorrow. Tomorrow we're back in sunshine. Then we get some isolated cold rain pushing in here on Friday. Weekend weather still looks great and sunny. It's just going to be very cold on Saturday with a high temperature under 50 and then by Sunday we see a high back into the upper 50s and weekend mornings will be in the mid, the mid to upper 20s. Now we will keep you up to date on your weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.